Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and it is time for another build a palette video. This time we are doing the Natasha Denona bronze palette. That's the one that you guys suggested that I do and I was very intrigued by the theme of the palette, not so much the color story. The color story, mm, not necessarily my jam. It doesn't really fit the name of the palette, but you know, we're going to make it do what it do. Now fair warning, this is going to be a long video because I went through two iterations of the palette because the first one I built I was like mm, so so with so I went ahead and redid it just like how I did with the Pat McGrath Divine Rose inspiration so you know what I'm gonna stop yapping because we got a lot to get into so let's go ahead and jump into this build a palette inspired by the Natasha Denona bronze palette you just interrupted my video I'm sorry about that Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start out by exploring the color story for this palette. So I'll insert it on this side so you can follow along. So we have this bronze palette that has names like True Copper, Suntan, Sundown, Deep Dive, Rhodium, Magma, High Degree, Alloy, Ridge, True Bronze, Gloman, Palladium, Bliss, Silk, and Beach. And the shades seem to sync up with those names. So we're gonna use that as a little bit of a guide as well as the swatches. So these swatches are the actual product swatches. So the professional product swatches. And we're gonna go by the deepest skin tone. So we see that we have like coppery orangey shades. We have some mustardy browns and then like a bunch of golden shades with different reflex so we have like cranberries pinks champagnes to me there's not a lot of bronze in this palette even though that's the name of the palette so i'm trying to incorporate both the theme of this palette with the color story along with the actual inspiration of a bronze palette to me bronze just means more brownie true bronze shades but this palette Definitely is not to me what a bronze palette would look like and then we have this interesting shade here rhodium Which is it looks like a brown with blue reflex Right, and then let's look at other swatches. So this one is from young wild and polished She did like quick swatches of these shades and they look very plain to me it doesn't look very special at all especially the shimmery shades like these shimmery shades just look i don't know they look very basic and then we have swatches from liz dagger beauty i love her swatches on instagram definitely follow her her swatches look a little bit more true to the color story so you can actually see the saturation of the colors so the rhodium shade it's looking a little bit purpley brown yeah, see those browns? There are a lot of matte browns in here. Then we have this deep dark shade. Deep Dive looks like a dark purple, like an eggplant color. Then we have what looks like a cranberry, you know what I mean? And then we also have swatches from Mel Thompson. This is from her review video, so she does arm swatches. And she showed us all the colors, and I think this... Let's turn it so I can see. This is a great visual for me to use as my color reference. So I'm gonna go by this. And yeah, let's let's just dive into it. I think I wanna start off with this shade, Rhodium, because I think I have the exact color that's gonna match up for that. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh. So like I said, for the Rhodium shade, I feel like I have the perfect one from Sydney Grace. So this is one of their new shades, right? And I pick, ooh, it's so pretty. I don't know if it's as purple as I want though. So I, ooh, but it does, mm, it looks so good though. It's a close contender. It looks very deep silver, but it has a hint of purple and a hint of blue, right? But it might be, yeah, I can see the purple. Can you see it? That looks very close to the shade, so I'm gonna definitely grab this one here. This is from their Cool Tone Mystery Bag, the deep version. And let's see this copper shade too. Should we? Okay, yeah. Because there's like coppers in the selection. I don't necessarily think the copper matches up with the theme I'm going with, 
but we'll still select it and see what happens here. Let's see these shades. Oh, that's pretty too. Does that look like anything in the palette? No. Okay, so I think we're done here. All right, let's start pulling from other palettes. I'm just gonna randomly go through these now. So we're looking for mustardy yellows and mustardy browns and whatever bronze shades I feel like fit the memo. So these are ColourPop singles, I do believe. Yeah, these are from ColourPop. So we have some beautiful shades to choose from here. By the way, this is so much harder to do with these nails. I contemplated taking them off, but they're so pretty that I didn't want to take them off, but whatever. These are my Nabla singles, so let's take a look. Um, ooh, here's a brown that may be good for the mustard brown. Yeah, I think that one's a good one. Anything else? Hmm. Do we want any from Lethal Cosmetics? Le Ooh, hold on. This looks promising. <gasps> yes, yes, definitely. That is just too yellow, right? That That's a good yellow though, but it's too yellow. Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows are so good. Oh my god, they are really good. I need to get some more, but whew, they're pricey. Not really that they're pricey, but the shipping is crazy, and I ain't trying to pay that much shipping, so we'll see about that Like when I pick up some more. Oh, let's look at this purple. This may be a rhodium contender, too. Ooh, maybe. May, may, no, that's too... It's too, it's not deep enough. Well, mm, let's, let's consider it. For all my palettes, I want to do like a highlight shade too. So I might actually add in an ivory. So I'm going to grab this one. All right. All right, so I got some shades from Adept Cosmetics. They sent these to me. Well, not all of them because I already had some in my collection, but they sent a lot of these to me and I organized them by the different formulations. So we have mattes and then we have the satin. So these are ACS shades. And then I have the diamond shades in this palette. Nothing in this palette looks like, well, maybe. Let's see, Let's let's take a look. So, okay, bronzy, coppery shades. Oh, let's look at this matte because this, ooh, this matte dark shade. My, ooh, that might be in the run-in. I don't know though, maybe it's not dark enough? Um, let's see. I don't know, it's some maybe for me. Let me, let me just grab it anyway. And then the mustard, ooh, this mustard looks good too. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's, no, that's not brown enough. Let's see the shimmer shades too. These are so good. Their shimmer formula is so good. Oh, and they redid some of the formulations. So, oh, look at that. Okay, I can't just use all of these, right? <laughs> that's not, ooh. You know what? I do want one of those shades in it. Even though it, there's no shade like this, re well, one in here palladium looks kind of like that all right so let me grab that shade all right I think yeah we can move on from this honestly we're doing pretty good here oh there's like a pinky golden shade here Let's see, ooh, you know what? I wanna include a special shade. I know there's no true special shade in the Natasha palette, but I feel like we should include it because we have, ooh, we have them, right? Oh, right? That to me, I wanna include, hoo, 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 hoo. should I? Let me think about it, because I want a shade that's gonna be a showstopper in this palette. Yeah, but one that looks like a bronze or like a copper, like a deeper shade. Like I don't want one that's too bright. <sighs> Is there even maybe a palladium shade in here too? Let's see. 
no that's too bold yeah i'm feeling like it's gonna be this shade here right it has that tarnished look to it i think yeah i think i'm gonna use that shade it's so hard to take these out i don't want to damage them so i'm being so careful oh my god all right so we're just gonna use that one special shade all right let's go into sydney grace some more because i feel like there are other Ooh, let's get rid of this first so i'm organizing my sydney grace shades to do swatches so these are their permanent shades these are existing shades and then at the bottom i have the discontinued ones that i'm low-key gonna swatch some of them because i feel like we should pressure them to bring them back if they're beautiful right because like this shade here this is called luminosity and this they discontinued but i think it's such a beautiful bronze it's like to me that's a true true bronze i'm gonna take that out and then this shade might be a contender oh this is more like a blue brown though it's not quite what we're looking for but it's a it's a ooh, child it's still sexy let me see this red brown I know there's a red brown in the palette see Sydney Grace makes some perfect eyeshadows too so we're gonna swatch our way through it guys let me go ahead and keep swatching <laughs> All right, here's some more from Sydney Grace, and these are like the mustardy shades. So maybe we can find some of those mustardy yellows in here and mustard. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, let's go. All right, I think we're good here. What about Makeup Forever? These are their orangey shades, and I only pull it out to see a couple of these coppery shades mm, I think we're good here we have the mustard shade from makeup forever I think we're good on the mustard by now so I'm gonna get rid of that you know what I wanted to take a look at though this khaki shade because I want like a khaki in the palette Ooh, look at this one too Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I want that shade though? I don't know if I want that shade. Let's look at the bronzy shades. Ooh, that's a good one. And I have more of their bronzy tones over here, like their brown shades, their everyday shades. So. Let's see, any of these jumping out? Not really. Not really. This one is a contender and this one. So I'm gonna just take those two. And that's it. I think we're just gonna go with those shades for now. So let me organize them and try to make some sense out of this color story. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Okay, what are we gonna do? I think we should start out with the special shades because those are the easiest to knock out. So we have these four shades that we're considering and I feel like we're gonna include the Cleona shade point blank, period. I think that is gonna be included because I want something extra in this palette. So I'm gonna include this shade for sure right and then we have the rhodium shade that's a purpley it looks like a red brown with a purple sheen kind of like that i think the blue in this is too strong this one is this one is the possibility that i wanted to use but this one looks more teal than purple the purple is in the base but then the reflect is teal i mean that's not a bad shade either but it's not exactly rhodium do i need it to be exactly rhodium though i don't know that i do at all look at these four shades what do you guys think i am keeping the special shade and then i feel like this is too special to also add 
and then this is very close to rhodium only it has a little bit of teal to it as well so I want to keep that shade and we're gonna get rid of this one but this one is also special <laughs> no but that's more like a that doesn't no that doesn't go so get rid of that one then we have to do the dark dark matte so it's very difficult because I only picked out one really deep matte shade and this needs to be like a blackened purple that's a hard shade do I have a single I don't know that I have a single that's a blackberry like that you know what I gotta really search to see if I can find a single that's a dark blackberry hold on all right so this deep dive shade is making some points okay kudos to Natasha Denona because I can't find anything quite as deep and purple in my collection as a single however believe it or not the closest I got is from the Kat Von D Lolita palette so she has this dark shade here Eterno which actually is a pretty dark purple shade but it has a little bit of red to it as well but this is probably the closest I could get in my collection I even went to my Viseart Grande Pro palette this is Grande Pro 3 to see if their deep shades would match no because that one's a little bit too red and then this deep one that I thought would have been it is a blue so it's not quite the shade we're going for and then I went to my Mac shadows right and shadowy lady this is an old-school Mac shade that one is also pretty good like it's close as a single that's the closest I could get for a single shade that looks maybe a little bit purple but I can't get quite well you know what this one is a coffee brown shade but it has like a touch of purple maybe we can use that one I don't know or maybe do we want to use this dark this one is like a red though from Adept Cosmetics I don't know this one yeah that one's more red so I'm feeling like it's between shadowy lady and this darker brown that's so tricky oh my god if I could really choose though it would be this eternal shade from the Kat Von D palette but I can't use a palette I have to use shades that are available as singles so we're gonna select between those two but put that to the side so all right let's continue all right let's come back in a little bit closer so we have these two dark shades and we're doing these so far okay so now we need mm, that reddish brown which I want to be this shade because this shade yeah this would complement that's such a good shade let's see this one here how that compares yeah that's a little bit more mm, that's more true though to the shade in the Natasha palette is that what we want to do look how far that pulls to Ooh, look at those shades right let's do let's let's do this one I think I think what do you, oh that's hard this one or this one oh crap all right let me put those two to the side I know I want a bronze in this palette because there's no true bronze in the Natasha palette and I feel like there needs to be a bronze this is such a perfect bronze right I'm gonna keep that one that's so on point but then I wanted one of these shades for, oh see that's a beautiful bronze as well like do okay so these two are very similar this one's from urban decay which is snake bite that is a beautiful option but since this is like a more expensive single and you have to buy the whole pot let's take that out and keep the single pan one from sydney grace those two right yeah they look very similar so let's keep the sydney grace one how about this dark shit Ooh see that is a dark bronze we want a dark bronze too did i take a dark bronze from another um from another brand let's see 
Ooh, yes. Oh, God. Okay, I want to keep that one because that's like a different shade of bronze. And then, oh, here's a dark one that we had, too. Come on. Ooh, yes. See, they're different bronzy tones. Like, one has a little bit more of this warmth, and then this one has more of that taupey silver purple, like that mauve tone. Oh God, I want to keep them both. Okay, I want to keep them both. Because I think those, yeah, those go. And then I wanted like a khaki bronze too, which is why I pulled this one out. And I think that we should have a khaki, no? What do you think? I'm asking you, you can't answer me. I feel like a khaki, mm, I want the khaki. I do want the khaki. Okay, let's see this color because this is like a special shade. See, I want, yeah, I want that one, and that can go with the khaki. Okay, we're like blasting through this, guys. All right, we want a coppery shade, because there are like coppers in here. I guess we're just going with a metal theme. So copper, that's too bright. That's too bright. That's too much. That looks straight up orange. That's beautiful, though, but that's not what we're going for. How about this shade? That's a little, uh, that's a little bit more subdued. Coming closer, coming closer. How about this? Ooh, okay. That one has more of a red, ooh, okay. Let me hold on to that. And then we have this one, which seems to be more on the golden side. Cause we, ooh, okay. See, now I'm confused. <sighs> I am very confused as to what to do right now, for real though. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <sighs> See, that's a different... Mm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm choosing, guys. I'm, so <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. I am so confused on what I want to do with this color story. Oh, my God. All right. So we want that or that or that or that or that. I don't want this one. Okay, take that out. How about this one? Oh, see, now that's different too. Ooh, that's different. See, I want... <sighs> Confusion. Confusion. This is difficult. I swatched this already. All right, let me see this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, see, I love that though, right? I love that different... You see all these different kinds of bronzes? Oh God. All right, let me, let me, I gotta think about it. I am seriously trying to narrow this down and it's not working out. All right, I love this one though because this is like a warm bronze. I like that one. I like these. I don't know, let me see this one again. Oh my God, this one. I think I can probably do without this one. Yeah, I can do without that one and then, kind of want to keep this one because it's different it's like a taupe yeah i'm gonna keep that one the coppers i don't know that i want to keep a copper like a bright copper i think this golden one is enough and then get rid of the coppers yeah i don't want them i don't want a copper i just didn't like the orangey red tones like the cranberry shades that is in the natasha palette the actual natasha palette i don't want that get rid of these urban decay shades too Ooh, punk, this dark, is this what we wanted to see, what this dark one? Yeah, we can get rid of that, that's fine, because we have other dark shades. I really like this, though. Yeah, we can do without that. I think this is the one that I wanted to keep, this reddish tone, right? Because it has a little bit of red, but what about this? We have this one already. Yeah, they're very similar, so I'm just going to keep that one, okay. I have made a mess here, but I'm not going to clean it up just yet. I'm just going to keep swatching. All right, we need the medium, the medium browns and the mustards. We're down to the mattes. Oh, wait, I didn't swatch this shimmer one. Maybe we can keep, ooh, let's see if this is a warm. Maybe we can keep that one for a warm tone one. Maybe. Let me keep that in consideration. 
All right, now for the mats. Oh no, I need to clean this up. All right, these we can probably narrow down pretty quickly. So we need the ivory, we're keeping the ivory. And then we can choose between these mustardy browns and then these medium tone browns. So, okay, so we need like an orangey mustard shade is what Natasha did. So I am gonna go, ooh, is that, that looks exactly like the Natasha shade, not gonna lie, that looks exactly like it. Then she has like this mustard brown called Ridge, but it's a brown. It's deeper than that shade. Maybe it's this kind of shade, yes. So this shade for sure, yes. And then almost like that shade too, cause they look exactly alike. You know what I realized? There is like a beachy brown shade that I didn't pick out of beachy brown. Okay, that's out. There's a brown that's just like a neutral, well not like a beige brown. Ooh, like a beige brown. Should we do a beige brown? Where am I gonna find that now? Oh my God. Beige, beige, beige brown. Ooh, wait a minute. I like this one. Okay, keep that one. And then the medium tone brownie, like a, let me see. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's too orange. Let's see this one. Yeah, these are not, these are definitely not it. This brown, okay, no, 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 no. These are all out, I think. These are all out, okay. These shades are making a damn mess of my table, so I'm gonna put them on paper towel. All right, so I pulled out some additional shades. So these are the shades we have right now. And I pulled in these shades because I need that mid-tone brownie shade that is beach. So we're gonna take a look at these shades and then I pulled in just a shimmer shade that kind of balanced everything. I don't know, this is tricky. How many shades are we going for? How many shades are in the Natasha palette? Just counted, there are 15 shades in the Natasha palette. So we're aiming for probably 15 as well. If we go over, we go over because I'm adding in shades that she doesn't have. So, all right, let's go with the shades we know for sure right now. So we're keeping the special shade, right? We decided that we want to have a fun shade in the palette. So that's in the palette. And then we're gonna keep the shade that is reminiscent of Rhodium, even though it's not like an exact shade dupe, but we're gonna keep that one. And then we wanna have the Ivory for sure. So these are the shades that will be included no matter what. And now we have to choose um, the other shades. So let's choose between the dark shades and see which one we want to include. So we have the shade Roadhouse from ColourPop and then Shadowy Lady. Should we zoom in a little bit so you can see? Yeah, hopefully you guys are seeing the colors. If not, I'll try to edit so you can see. Ooh, that, ooh, that's a lot. See why I'm messing up my table? Look at this. So this is, oh, see, that's a pretty shade. That's the Roadhouse shade. And then we have Shadowy Lady from MAC. So we want one that's a blackened, like a blackened purple. Now the finish in the Natasha palette is a little bit more of a satin because it's one of her cream to powder finishes, but I feel like Shadowy Lady comes very close to that blackened purple. I like this shade as well. It's a very nice shade, but I feel like Shadowy Lady is gonna be our go-to. It has that purple to it. Do you see that little cool tone purple? Yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna go for. It's not gonna give us the same finish as Deep Dive because I think that's special to Natasha Denona. That cream to powder formula is special to her. So we'll give her that. So we'll take that dark brown out. And let me just get it off. Yeah, get it out the way. And then we need to have this medium tone red brown, which I'll see like how it goes with the other shades because it has to complement Shadowy Lady a little bit, right? Or do we want it to complement the other reddish shades in the palette? Let's see. All right, ooh, so do we wanna go the red, the true red brown shade, which is what she has in the palette for Magma? Should we go with that? 
let's go with that so what shade was that oh lord i don't even know what shade i swatched yeah so it's gonna be this shade which is feathered from ColourPop. so we get rid of this one it's so hard to keep this table clean i am driving myself nuts anyway all right now we have them the brown shade which is beach which is it looks like just a medium tone beige and some of these shades that I picked out come pretty close, but I'm not sure which one to choose. Uh, okay, that's a little bit too warm. Maybe this one, because it's just a peachy brown, like a, yeah, just a peachy beige brown shade. Hmm, I feel like it's gonna be this shade here, which is from Adept Cosmetics. So this one's too pinky. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. Can we get rid of these then? No, because there's Ridge, which is that mustard brown, which I think is this shade that we chose, right? That's the shade we're gonna go for. Is that too close though? No, that, mm, yeah, that may, because mm, <laughs> there's an orange shade sundown and then there's this mustard shade. You know what, let me look at the other swatches because this one is throwing me off. See, there's no real, mm, it looks mustardy, but there's no true mustard in it. But would a mustard complement? No. Okay, get rid of the mustard. So I'm going to stand corrected because I feel like they may be more on the peachy orange side versus like a true mustard. So I think this shade is going to go, right? Because that's like the orange, that sundown shade. This one, it's a beautiful color. But I don't feel, yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Oh, we didn't get like the goldy shades in here. Do I want golds though? Cause they're like golds in the palette, but I don't know if I want a gold. Like they're really coppery shades in here. I don't know what I wanna do. Like I'm all over the place. I am so all over the place. I think I'm swapping out a lot of the goals for more true bronzes from my color story. Cause bronze just screams to me a different, oh, I'm keeping that one. Bronze just screams to me a different a different kind of vibe. I don't really get the orangey shades that she has in the palette. I want that one too. And then I think I want to keep this dark one, right? Yeah, I kind of want to keep that one because I feel like it would go great with rhodium and also with the dark shades. So, all right, so far, how are we doing? I feel like we might be overdoing it with the... Okay, I'm keeping that. I feel like I need to choose a medium brown. I'll come back to that. Let's look at the bronzes because there needs to be an amber shade, I feel like. So I'm keeping that. And then this bronze, right? I That needs to be there too. And then I wanted to keep the khaki as well because I want it to be a bronze... No, maybe that's too green. Yeah, that's too green. Um, Let me see, do we wanna keep the green one? Or do we wanna keep like a cranberry? This is so difficult, guys. I thought this was gonna be easier than it is. Do we wanna keep the green? Or I think this goes more with the color stir because the green has nothing to pair with in the palette. We have to still coordinate the shades, right? Then we have this shade here which I feel like we should keep because we don't have any bright shimmers. That is a bright shimmer. And I wanted to keep this one because this is also a bright light shimmer. Yeah, so that, okay, it's it's lining up. How many shades is that? Okay, so we're at 14 with those up there. So we just need to grab ourselves that medium tone brown shade. So it's either one of these four shades. For me, it's between these two shades. So get rid of these. And it's gonna be one of these two. Which one do we want? Let's see, that one is like one, the peachy orange side. And let's compare it to the one that we already selected, which is this tangerine orange shade. So which, you know what, either one of them could go, but which one feels better? Let's see which one feels better. Mmm, it's, okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And then this last shade, I think this was a coppery one that we saved, right? But that one, mm, 
versus should we keep it and make it 60 should we Ooh, wait between this and okay between these two do we want this one or this one Ooh. so if we're going with the natasha theme we would probably choose the more warm tone one but since i'm doing my own thing and my own vibe Ooh, do, 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 do. i don't like i don't ugh, i'm gonna keep the dark one yeah so all right done All right, so here are our shades. Let's go ahead and try to organize them in a pleasing way, like a pleasant color story. So we have 15 shades, so we can have three rows of five. All right, let's go. Does that look okay to you guys? What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty fun. I won't know until I swatch these just what i think so let's go ahead and do that so here you have all the swatches and i think this looks pretty good i'm happy with it i'm happier with it than i would be with the natasha palette because all those light tones that are in that palette just don't speak to me i just really didn't like the shades as much but we still pulled inspiration from the palette and we incorporated some of those shades in my own palette. So it's not like it's a complete bust, but these lighter shades and these redder tones, these more pinky tones, I just didn't get that those should be in a bronze palette. So I didn't include any of those. I included more of the true bronzy shades. So, whoo, I like that, all right. <laughs> So here's the palette that we already created, but I'm just not feeling it. I mean, I'm kind of feeling it. It's pretty, but when I swatched it out, it didn't quite look right. And I think I need to swap out a couple of the colors. So we're going to rework this just a little bit, not too much, but I want to, I don't know. I want to change some of the colors around. What I think I'm really missing is the deep dark shade but i don't like the purple i want more of a red tone dark brown so we're getting rid of shadowy lady and i think i want to get rid of this purpley brown blue thing as well because it's just not vibing with the palette right now it's really pretty but to me it's throwing things off i just can't get with it so i'm gonna take those two out of it and even the cleona shade i think i'm gonna put to the side just for a second and just take a look at the other shades that we have in the palette so i'm definitely thinking we should keep this bronzy shade it's such a beautiful yeah like that's a definite keeper right so that we're keeping then we have this more coppery shade, like a golden copper. I feel like that should be in the palette as well. Then we have the amber brown shade, which is more on the warm side. I think that one has to stay. I'm rethinking the copper shade. Let's just put that to the side for now. What about this shade? I really love this shade. This is such a different shade for me. I feel like those three go together. Yeah, I wanna keep that shade as well. And then let's look at the Adept Cosmetic shades because these are sexy too. But are those too similar? Is this one too similar to this dark brown? It might be, but which one do we want to keep? I feel like we wanted to keep the dark chocolate brown. So we're gonna put this down here for a minute. Let's look at this other shade. This one is a little bit of a purpley tone, right? So that's giving us a different view of a bronze. I am gonna table that shade too. So now we have three definites. Let's see this one. See, these two shades look very similar, so I'm gonna keep one or the other. I think I'm gonna keep this shade. 
All right, I'm gonna pull out my JD Glow shades and see if there's something in here because I feel like there might be a special shade in here that we want to try out. Oh my God, like this shade is really pretty. Ooh, I love that, right? And then what about this dark shade? Some of these dark shades, ooh, yes, that's pretty too. And then this one, oh yeah. That one is giving me more of a, hmm, Maybe we should have that one in here too. That looks really good. Ooh, here's another coppery shade. Ooh, like that's a golden bronze. And I do think we need a golden bronze. So I think I'm gonna grab that guy. And ooh, look at this purple one. Maybe this one can be, ooh, yes. That one may, well, let's see. Let's compare it to the Sydney Gray shade. Ooh, yeah, that's more, ooh, that's more on the purpley side. Is that what's in the Natasha palette? More of a deep purple, maybe? Mm. I'm feeling these shades, I'm not lying. I'm feeling this brown and I'm feeling, yeah, I'm even feeling this one, this one, <laughs> and this one, all right. Then I was looking at my Makeup Addiction palette. So these are available as singles, but they're also in palettes and you can pop them out. So I was looking at these shades too. Oh, yes. Yes, I really love that shade. That one, yep. Yeah. See, the names are on the bottom, so that's perfect. Oh yeah, that's so good. All right, let's look at this brown. That may be, ooh, that is really sexy for our warm brown. I think that may be a good choice. Let's see what else we have in these palettes. Oh, I love this shade. Let me see that shade. No, that's more of a beetle shade. And what about this dark? Yeah, that, that's not gonna work, but that's still pretty. Anyway, let's open this one up. Yeah, at, ooh, all right, let's see this. Oh, that's pretty too. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's put that in the run-in. Let's see. All right, these are some Anastasia Beverly Hills singles. And she has some pretty shades in here. These two that I wanted to look at. Oh my God, those are good. Do we want like a orangey copper or like a more subdued golden copper? Those are pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take those out and put them in the run-in. Then I have some Makeup Forever dark brown shades that I was thinking about too. And I wanted to see if we wanted to include any of these chocolatey shades because there are some good chocolate browns in here that I think would complement the palette really well. And maybe we can find our dark brown here because we need our dark brown still. See that dark chocolatey brown might work, right? Oh, let me try this one. Oh yeah, that's so good. All right, all right, all right. Let me see, let me see, let me think, let me think. I don't really want a cool tone brown. I want more of a chocolatey brown, so I'll try that one. And then I really like this dark shade as well. Next we have some Inglot, and I pulled out the Inglot because I wanted to look at the dark mattes. Ooh, here's a dark. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so that's a, d ooh, maybe that? Yeah, that's good, that is good. All right, maybe that guy, and then let's see this one here. See, that's a nice warm one too. No, let's not use that one, I like that dark purpley one. What about this orange brown? Oh God, yes, okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. I feel, I'm feeling much more inspired now by these dark shades. All right, put that to the side. Anything else? This is also from Inglot. I wanted to swatch this dark purple. I don't think that's gonna be, well, maybe, let's see, hold up. Some of these shades are getting, ooh. Some of these shades are getting a hard pan because I'm swatching them and they're mattes. Okay, those two. You know what? We're getting we're getting somewhere, guys. So, I think 
I think we're good with the selection. Let's narrow it down. All right, now I need to see all the shades together to select the ones that we want. So we need our dark shade. So those are out, put them to the side. I think Inglot might have our dark shades. I really like that reddish brown, but here's the purpley brown. Should, well, it's not like a purpley brown, it's a dark purple. I feel like the red brown is better though. I don't feel like the purple complements bronze, so I'm gonna go with the red. And I wanna use this chocolate one too, because I feel like that's gonna help. Yes, so we're gonna use these two dark browns. And then we need those mid-tone browns, so let's look at these. Do we wanna keep this orangey, like peach shade? What do you guys think? I don't know. Let's swatch that again. That's a good one though. Yeah, but do we want that? I don't know. We might wanna keep an orangey brown. Ooh. You know what, this one goes better with this. So I'm gonna keep that one. Get rid of these. Do we want a lighter beige? Do we want a lighter beige? Maybe. Maybe instead of the really light ivory that we had before? Or should we keep the ivory? Should we keep the ivory? I'm feeling like we should keep the ivory, okay. All right. All right, so we can get rid of this red-brown, right? Because we already have the other two here. Yes, we can get rid of that one. Now, do we wanna have this dark neutral brown in the mix? I'm big on mattes, so I kinda wanna have as many as possible, but I don't know if that's practical. You know what I mean? Like, do we really wanna have five? Well, we could. Who's gonna stop us? We have five mattes. Who's gonna stop us? Nobody, right? Maybe, because those give us different options. And then let's bring in the other shades. So what complements this color story? So if you put this, what does that go with? Not a damn thing. What about this? What does that go with? Mm, that can, not a damn thing either. <laughs> See this one? Okay. That goes with something. So we're gonna keep this shade. I can't with myself. What about this guy? Let's, I don't know what that kind of goes with, so <laughs> leave that alone for a little bit. What about this? Do we wanna have that special shade in there that can just throw it off? Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's put that guy in there. Then here's our amber, right? We need the amber shade, definitely. And then what about this guy? Cause I like that, ooh, but it's between this one and this, ooh. Ooh, we gotta choose, guys. Which one? Which one goes better? This one seems to go better. So I'm gonna choose that one and get that one out of the way. What about this? This, ooh, this pretty one. I already swatched that one. <laughs> I feel like we should have the tarnished olive looking one though, right? I feel like that should be in the palette because that gives us a different view of bronze. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. And then this dark red brown one this one we should keep as well because that's a different kind of bronze, right? I think so. And then what about this one? Ooh, okay. I don't understand. Ooh, okay. So this versus that versus that. The, ooh, I think we're gonna need to keep that guy. Then we have these two. I already swatched that one, didn't I? That one's the one that we were comparing to this. Yeah, we're gonna keep the lighter one that has, yeah. And then what about this? No, that's too gray. Oh, I really like these colors. I feel like we do need an orangey copper, but then we have this one too that we didn't swatch. Hold up, hold up. Is that too bold? 
Yeah, that's too bold. Okay. All right, what's it looking like over here? Let's see this thing. Oh, I wanted to keep this one because it's a really light, like, all over lid shade. So I think we'll keep that too. And then do we want to keep a dark shimmer? Because I like having a dark shimmer. But watch. Which, but which one? I think this one because it will go with the other shades in the palette, right? And I think, yeah. How many shades do we have now? All right, let's see. We have the five mattes. So that's five, nine, ten. Oh, boom, 15. Perfect. All right, so I think we've got it right now. So we have our 15 shades. Let's arrange them in a palette and see how they look. So here goes the remixed palette, the second version that I'm a lot more happy with. I like this a lot more because there are a lot more dark shades in here. I have more mattes and I have my bronzes all over and different shades of bronzes. Plus I have this different kind of color that just throws it off just a little bit. So let's go ahead and swatch these guys. Alright guys, can I tell you how much happier I am with this selection? <sighs> oh my god, this is this is perfect. Like this is the perfect bronze palette for me. Do you like how I use stencils to do my swatches this time? Yeah, I'm getting fancy. But oh my god, tell me you don't love this color story now. Isn't this more like it? Yes. Yes, so let's go through the shades that we selected and like why we chose them. So first up we have the shade Ephemeral. This is from Lethal Cosmetics. This is a matte peachy ivory shade. This is going to be great for inner tear duct highlights, for highlight under the brow. And you can also apply this all over the lid as a brightening shade. Or you can use it in the crease as a blending shade as well. It's just one of those shades that's going to balance out the palette. Then we have the shade ME644, which is Iced Brown from Makeup Forever. This shade is stunning. It is a beautiful golden bronze shade, but it has a hint of sheen to it, like a little bit of a gray cast. Do you guys see that? It's so pretty. And that you can apply all over the lid for just a quick look. It's a quick one and done shade. It's gonna balance out the colors again because we have deeper bronzes, so this is gonna be our light bronze. Then we have the shade Sunset from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a shimmery, coppery bronze shade. So this has a lot of orange to it. It's really beautiful. Again, it's gonna give us that warmth in the palette without being too bright or too bold or too orangey. Then we have the shade in the palette that's gonna give us a little bit of a different take. This shade is from Hot Makeup and it's the shade About September. I don't know if that company's still around, but um, yeah, this shade is one of those muted, dusty steel purples. Cause it's like a steel gray shade, but it has a purpley undertone. It's really beautiful. Like look at that color. So that's gonna be like her cool tone that just throws everything off. And this is the shade that's gonna replicate rhodium for us in this palette. Then we have the shade Henny from JD Gold Cosmetics. This is more of a tarnished olive bronzy shade. I wanted to have a tarnished bronze shade in the palette, one that leans a little bit more green, so that's that shade there. Then we have the shade 305 from Ingla. This is a matte, kind of warm tone brown. It's a deep brown that's gonna balance out warm looks, so if you mix it in with like this copper shade or even these coppery brown shades, even this quad works together, right? So this is gonna be our warm dark brown in the palette. Then we have a deep burnished bronze. This is Chocolate Bar from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. This one is a deep bronze shade with a little hint of like a chocolatey undertone. You can see the chocolate in it. It's warm, it has a little hint of red. It's gonna be great to create a smoky eye just all over the lid or you can use it to darken up shades because it's not too metallic. It just has a little bit of a sheen to it. 
the next that we have ACS 28 from Adept Cosmetics. That is gonna be our second warm tone bronze. This one is more on the golden side, where Sunset from ABH is more on the orangey side. This one is a little bit more golden, and that's gonna give us more warmth in the palette. And I really think that is gonna balance out the look again. Look at this quad and how it works together. Then we have ACM 3 from Adept Cosmetics. This is gonna be our orangey shade in the palette. It's more subdued, it's like an orangey brown, and that's gonna balance out the palette again for those warmer looks. And you can use it as a transition shade, or you can even use it all over the lid. Then we have a deep, cool tone bronze. This is ME614 Graphite Brown from Makeup Forever. This is a really rich dark brown shade and it has that bronzy tone but it's a little bit more on the cool tone purpley side. It's really gorgeous and that's gonna again make for a great deepening shade or you can use it in a smoky eye. Then we have our true bronze shade. This is from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. I don't know the shade and I'm so sorry but this I couldn't leave it out because it's our true brown bronze. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just right. It's like our Goldilocks shade So yeah, I'm gonna call it bronze and yeah, just look, yeah, listen You need a true bronze right and that's gonna be our guy then we have 302 from Ingla this shade is our dark Red tone brown. It's really rich and deep and it's a red tone That's gonna go with again the warmer looks in the palette, but you can also use it look at this trio right here You can use these three shades together to to pull together a beautiful look. Then we have Hot Stuff from Sydney Grace. I think this is one of my favorite shades from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. It's a medium tone icy brown with a warmer red tone base, but then it has the champagne glow to it, the shimmer on top. It's just so beautiful, and that works great all over the lid, or you can use it to lighten up the other darker shades, or you can use it in a halo eye. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Amber, also from Sydney Grace. This one is beautiful. Had to have it in here. This is gonna be our golden bronze. So you see it's a warmer tone bronze. It's more on the golden side. It's a little bit brighter than the rich bronze shade and that is gonna complement the palette beautifully. Then we have our final shade. This is M618 Espresso from Makeup Forever. This is a deep blackened brown. This is gonna be our darkest shade in the palette. I'm playing off the deep dive shade in the Natasha palette, but I didn't want it to be that dark purple because I feel like it didn't really go with the rest of the shades. We have our deep red tone brown, but I wanted a cooler tone brown to help to darken up looks, and I think this works beautifully. So here again is an overall look at the shades that were selected and I love this selection so much I think it's so much better than what I created initially and I feel like I have to go through that process I have to see the shades work it through my mind sleep on it and then come back and rearrange it and I think this is a beautiful selection now. And the way I swatched it actually gives you great color combinations. So you can use it as an inner tear duct highlight and that all over the lid and then use one of these deeper shades for blending in the outer V. You can also use like these shades together. So this would be in the crease, that's on the lid, that's on the outer V and then you can use either one to deepen that up again. And then if you want to go for the tarnish shade, you can use this on the lid and then go in with the more neutral brown to deepen it up. You don't have to do a ton to create looks. Pair these two together and then a darkening shade. You can use this as a chocolatey smoky eye. This on the lid, this in the crease, one and done. Use that on the inner tear duct. Here's a warm trio hair. And if you wanna switch it up a bit with the steel shade, just go in with this on the lid, or even on the outer lid, and then use either of these shades or both of them to darken up the look. And then on the inner tear duct, just use the light ivory shade. The ivory shade can be used for an inner tear duct highlight under the brow again. There's so many looks you can get from this and so many different combinations that are not very complicated and I think this would make a beautiful just everyday neutral palette with a little bit of sultriness to it. Alright guys, so be honest with me, what do you guys think of the final palette? As I said, I love this based on the theme of the palette, so it's the bronze palette. I expected bronzes and like rich tones and that's not what I got from the Natasha palette, so for me, I wanted to do my own spin on what I think a bronze palette should look like. And this actually turned out exactly how I wanted it. I have different tones of bronze, I have deepening shades, 
I really like this. Now this is a darker palette. There are no real bright lifting colors and I definitely don't have like the pinky tones, the cranberry tones that she has. I didn't like those at all. I'm like, how do those fit with the color story? Mm, I don't know. So yeah, this is what I came up with and I'm happy with it. So let me know what you guys think. What would you do for a bronze theme palette? Like, I don't know, like what did you guys expect when you heard there was gonna be a bronze palette? To me, this is what I expected, but then what I got was more like an earthy tone desert palette to me it was like a desert palette it did not look like a bronze palette but anyway we didn't do like a ton of color combinations in this palette where I showed you like combinations swatched together but you can get an idea just from looking at the swatches that yeah, there's so many things you could do with this palette but if you guys want to see a lookbook where I do different makeup looks from this palette then let me know and you can of course pull similar shades from your own collection or even your own palettes that look like these and just work it out, okay? I didn't get too many views on the one that I did with the Divine Rose palette, so I don't know how many people are interested, but if you're interested, definitely let me know. I do owe you guys the grayscale lookbook, so we're gonna work on that next, but hopefully you guys enjoy this Builder palette. I will leave all the shades that we have in this selection down below in the description box, and if I have links on where you can pick them up, I will leave that as well. And if there's an asterisk next to the link, that means it's an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It doesn't change the sale price, but it just gives me a little bit of kickback, which is a great way to show your support for the channel so thank you so much for shopping through my links it really does help but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss I still appreciate you watching the video another way you can show your support is thumbs up subscribe favorite share with your friends and get us to 100k because the fancy fam is growing and I am so happy to see all the new faces in my comments I really appreciate the support guys it's been so much fun to like do different videos and you guys are enjoying them so it's like yes you know <laughs> so anyway let me stop yapping now because this is long enough I will talk to you guys soon oh wait Instagram Twitter you can follow me along stuff happens over there yeah yeah all right now until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys Thank you.